Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to make a Arkanoid game with Scratch. So first, um, please go to Scratch website and search Arkanoid with no code, and you will find uh, this project by Jia Lan. You open this project and remix it and you can start right away. First, you maybe want to rename your project. So first thing, let's lay out the bricks. Each brick is a clone. So the master's job is to create clones. Each row has 13 bricks. So let's put the first brick at uh, this location. Then each time you create a brick, you'd like to move to the next spot. Change x by 24. They don't show up because I'm afraid I'm not showing them. So let's hide the master and show the clone. So this is the first row and you'd like to make sure the first row is silver color check out the all these costumes this silver too is um for silver brick after one knock each silver brick takes two knocks down uh, the other bricks just take one knock so we'll start from silver color and switch to next costume for next row. We also need to change master's X position back to its starting position, which is negative 144, and change its Y by negative 12, which is um, about this position. Then we'll create the next rows. Use a repeat six times because we have six rows. Once I created all the bricks, I broadcast get ready. Let's create a new sprite called ready. For its costume, it's just a label showing ready. It will be here. So at first it should hide. Let's it let's make it a whole number. When I receive get ready. I will show it. Let's give a try. Let's also make a few more costume. The first one is called count three. 
it will just show number three. Next one is two. The last one is one. Okay, so for code, first we want to make sure costume is ready. Then we start to count down. Wait one second. Switch to next costume. Make sure you wait one second. Again, after the last costume, then we hide it. At this time, we are ready to start the game. Let's create a variable called game on for all sprites. Let's set this variable to zero. And once countdown finished, we set a game on to one. And the game is ready to start. That's it for this video. See you next one.